hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we give the Lord we serve a hand clap of praise on this snowy Sunday? But God allowed us to get here safely. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, family. It's so good to be here and worship with you on today. How many of you can just say, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, I feel better, so much better. Since I laid my burdens down, if you could just Sing this congregation with us. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down, I feel better, I feel better, so much better, since I laid my burdens down. I feel better, so much better, since I laid my burden down. I am climbing, I am climbing, Jacob's ladder, since I laid my burden down. I am climbing, Jacob's ladder. How many know that we can be a little freer with worship 
Once we lay those burdens down, that's why we say glory, glory, hallelujah. Now let's celebrate because the Lord is glorious. He is glorious. Let's celebrate our Savior, our Lord, our King, hallelujah. If you know this song, if you can stand up with us and worship on today, glorious, hallelujah. When we come into his presence, lifting up the name of Jesus, and you hear the music playing, and you see the people praising, just forget about your worries, let your troubles fall behind you, don't you wait another minute, just get up and on your feet and get to dancing, singing, jumping, leaping, get to shouting, make it loud and make it glorious. Start rejoicing, praising, lifting, raising, get to shouting, make it loud and make his praise glorious, glorious. When you come into his presence, lifting up the name of Jesus, and you hear the music playing, and you see the people praising, just forget about your worries, let your troubles fall behind you. Don't you wait another minute, just get up and on your feet and get to dancing, singing, jumping, leaping, get to shouting, make it loud and make it glorious. Start rejoicing, praising, lifting, raising, get to shouting, make it loud and make his praise, get to dancing, singing, jumping, leaping, get to shouting, make it loud and make it glorious. Start rejoicing, praising, lifting, raising, get to shouting, make it loud and make his praise. Glorious, glorious. How many can say I was created to make his praise glorious? I was created to make his praise glorious. I was created to make your praise glorious, glorious. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was created to make your praise glorious. I was created to make your praise glorious, glorious. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was created to make your praise glorious. I was created to make your praise glorious, glorious. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was created to make your praise glorious. I was created to make your praise glorious, glorious. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was created to make your praise glorious. Veterans, you have sacrificed. You have endured. You have bravely carried the burden of our freedom. You bear the physical scars and carry wounds we cannot see. You have 
protected our lives by putting yours on the line. Today we pray for the peace of God to rest on you. May you know his comfort and love. We pray that war will cease and God's kingdom come. On earth as it is in heaven. We honor you today and ask our great and awesome God to bless you. May we never take your sacrifice for granted. We appreciate you. Thank you, veterans from the bottom of my heart. And America thanks you. Dear Lord, today we come to honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service in the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for their hardships they face for the sacrifices they made, for their many different contributions to America's victories over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, we thank them, we honor them, we are proud of them. We pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with peace and happiness. Lord, help them to feel honored, be understood, be healed, be rewarded, and to come to know you. Dear God, help them to fear not and know that you are with them and to be not dismayed for you are God and you will strengthen them. Uphold them with the righteous hand for you, the Lord our God, will hold their right hand. We thank you, God. We honor you today and we praise your name. In the name of Jesus, it is so and so it is. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on. Aren't you happy to be in worship today? Amen. Hallelujah. We're happy to be in worship today. Can you just lift this? Can you just lift this song up with me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. Anybody thankful this morning? Come on, this is thankful November. Thank you, Lord, thank, hallelujah, you, Lord. Anybody thankful this morning for just waking you up this morning? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, you, Lord. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord. I just want to. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord. He has done marvelous things. Great is the Lord. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord, our conqueror. He has never failed me yet. Through 
all my trials, through all my trials, tribulations, He will deliver the greatest one, Jesus. Come on, say it again. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord, our conqueror. He has never failed me yet. Through all my trials. Jehovah is your name. Can we just worship him for a few seconds? Hallelujah. We're moving fast. Jehovah is your name. I want Elder Sonia to come sing just a little bit of this. Hallelujah. Can you just lift your hands? You're scaring me. Can you lift your hands? Thank you, Jesus. I want to make sure I'm at church today. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Just wave in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell God something great out of your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him how awesome he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
church I like to have church I like to know that I've been to church amen I'm going to go to I'm going down old school boulevard so I got to call some help I got to call some people that's been retired from singing I need uh, Deacon Roy Rogers to come up here and I need sister Jackie to come up here come on I need y'all to come quick because we online come on come on come on put them young legs on all right all right so we're going down memory lane the song says that I started running and I start shouting. I had no room to doubt him, but I've got something from the Holy Ghost. Can we go down Old School Boulevard? We at the Baptist Church today, so can you help me a little bit? Let's go back to Costa. Come on and clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Sister Tanae is coming. Come on and clap your hands. morning, just about the break of day, Jesus came in my room and he touched me, he washed my sins away, I started running, I started shouting, there was no room for doubting, there is something, I got something from the Holy Ghost, from the Holy Ghost. Oh! 
what has he done for you? Did he bring you up? I need you to stand to your feet because that should show you the devil is trying to come in right now. If he's a way maker, let me hear you make the loudest noise you can to kick the devil out. If you're going through some things in your life, you should be trying to kick the devil out. He's a way maker. He's a provider. Devil, you are a liar. We can, we, 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 listen, listen, continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Heavenly God, Father, we come to you now. We're declaring greatness in wings of love now. The word that you've given me to give to your people, I ask that it penetrates the hearts and the minds of your people, that they go out and change their way of thinking, change their lives. In the name of Jesus, devil, I bind you back to the pit of hell where you came from. You have no authority here. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The devil is a lie. Fingers, am I using the mic? Use the mic? Okay. When I see Pam coming up to praise, that lets me know she's going through some things. We, we too cute to praise. I've been going through hell all week. And the last thing I want to do is give God a half praise. Give the God that woke you up this morning a hand clap of praise, shouting to your voice. It's, it's, are we here? We here? We here? Test, 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 test. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus in this place. Hallelujah. Hello, hello. Testing, testing, testing. The devil is a liar. That's just the confirmation I needed. That's the, I'm good. I'm going to just rock with it. God going to be with me. God going to be with me. Devil, it's amazing the tricks you try. Keisha, you sung a way maker, but the devil think he got so much power, he wanted to call us the liar and say, he, you just took it out of my mouth. He tr Let church say he tried it. He tried. You don't have, do, do you realize the only power, the only authority, the only certainty that the devil have 
is the one we give him. So if we revoke that from him, then he has no power. Releasing the power from him and saying, God, I can't do it on my own. That devil get thee behind me because you have been in my way long enough. And God, I am here to serve you. If you can open your Bibles to Matthew 10, I don't got to do the preliminaries. That was enough within itself. Matthew's 10. As we come in with the word of God, Matthew's 10, verses 32 and 33. Just for a good, a good laugh. Did y'all just see Wayne put that chair up here? <laughs> now, everybody know what chair I preach on. <laughs> Where you go? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish he was here. I would have. You know what? Give it up for Wayne. <laughs> Matthew's 10. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whatso whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. If I had to put the title on the text, I would title it, What Type of Christian Are You? Use it. Test, test. Test, test, test. Oh, okay. Give it up for fingers. Okay. You all may be seated in the presence of God. What type of Christian are you? Ask your neighbor to the left of you, are you a public? Ask the other neighbor to the other side of the right of you, just simply ask, are you a private Christian? What type of Christian are you? Keisha, you are already ahead of me. Keisha says she make it known. As I was on the road today, the Holy Spirit allowed me to see something through just traffic, Minister Baker. Oh, okay. yes, sir. I was driving down Woodward, and I seen a cop. Previous to the cop, everyone on, on Woodward, coming from my house, I'm not sure what it is when you cross 696, if it drops to 40 or not, but coming from my house, it's 50. And everyone is probably going about 60, 70, and when the cop appears after making a Michigan U, everyone tend to slow down to 50. And as I was driving, the Holy Spirit said, if my people would treat me like they treat the cop when he appears, then a lot of things in their life won't happen. The cop came out of nowhere, speed started to slow down. We were so certain when we thought no one was watching. But when he came about, now we want to get in line. Sometimes, maybe, if we have our rich people, our famous people, our political powered people, we will be proud, First Lady, to say that we know them. We will be proud to simply say, Kirk Franklin recognized me when I walked in. T.D. Jakes knew who I was as a preacher. I got this job because I know council so-and-so, mayor so-and-so, chief sheriff so-and-so. When we walk into church, in some churches, we want to be recognized because we are known to some people. We give more power to famous people, political powered people, rich people. We live in a world where celebrities are to the, the model, the standard. Can I say 
that we are the only Bible some will ever read. We are the only Jesus some will ever see. So how is it that we can look at them, Baker, as the standard when they're beneath Jesus Christ? We live in a day and age where if you look at, let me put it like this, 50% of the shows I look at, this is the world we live in. It's a homosexual relationship. Always either a lesbian or a gay couple. In any show, I look at Station 19, they get married, a lesbian relationship get married. I'm looking at the internet the other day, I don't know if y'all seen this, but they told me, and y'all correct me if I'm a, one of them superheroes, Superman. Superman, Superman is now supposed to be bisexual. Somebody say, yes. I'm looking at Chucky, Minister Whitfield. Chucky, the little, hey, I'm your friend. He got a show out on USA, Keish. I'm sorry, Tanae. <laughs> and on the show, Chucky's supposed to be scary. The boy who quote unquote owns Chucky is in 10th, 11th grade, and he has a gay relationship. Don't mistake it, I'm not picking on the homosexuals. But I'm just teaching you and letting you understand that this is the day and age we live. When I was a kid, I'm 36 years old, when I was a kid, I never seen it on TV. You had to order that type of stuff, HBO. It is being literally pushed down our throat. We are, let's come off of those homosexuals, because I don't like to pick on them, because I believe in talking to every sin there is. We're in the pulpit, and it's not just about homonging preachers, but preachers that's not even true believers of Jesus Christ. And they're being celebrated. This cancel culture and regular culture no longer makes Judeo-Christians um, the, the morals, the standard, or the principles, number one. It has been shown and dropped in every system of their culture, in every single angle of their culture. They have shown it. They have literally pushed it to the side. We have made sin the way to go because that's what satisfies the flesh. Can I tell you, before I can even get into confessing, I just wanna paint the world to you. Allow yourself to just ride with me as I go through the intro. Seeing feels good. See, we don't wanna talk about, we don't wanna talk real in church. Seeing feels good. Seeing looks good. Seeing tastes good. Sin is very attractive. Sin is gratifying. And sometimes if we're in it enough, we make it as if it's edifying. But it only sets you up for a great fall. I look at my life and I say, all of the sin that I've had committed in my life. I look at how I was comfortable in sin, not even recognizing that I was comfortable. See, if the church can get to the realization that sin is what we should be talking about and Jesus is the way to go, all of these hype sermons, it's not what's feeding us, it's getting us hyped. So when we go through the week and sin and face us, we think that that's what we should do. If you understand that it's only going to tear you down in the long run and gratify you in the short, 
then you will understand that ain't the way to go. So your cancel culture and regular culture can make that as if that's the way to go. Can I tell you that's not it? There was a moment you could run and hide in church or behind your religion. They no longer care. But in this day and time, they're calling true believers out because their ideals have been refused and etched across the board. Politics, media, education, entertainment, and even some churches. Not sure if you, 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 you see it or not, but it's clearly Canadian clear that whatsoever they believe in is what we should modern ourselves after. That whatever remnants of the Christian nation that we had no longer exist. We stood on a foundation. We stood on principles. We're at the stage where the one entity that was diagnosed and, and designed to hold the line crumbles with it. The Christian faith has, is, is, is literally being silenced. Unless you're so um, muzzled or unless it's not so clear of which line you stand on, then maybe they just don't know who you serve. I want us to make the decision to be unashamed about it. What we believe and what we have experienced while on this Christian journey, we have to be truthful. This Christian walk is not the easiest walk to walk. It's time out for coming into church thinking that, you know what? I'm going to get my word and I'm going to go out into the world and I can do it all by myself. He says in his word that I ain't promise you that you won't have no dark days. I didn't promise you that there won't be some trials and tribulations that come your way. But what I did promise you is that I leave you with peace. None like the world. I did promise you that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I did promise that I'll be with you as long as you have me until the end of the world. If you have him, then he'll be with you. I can get all of the hugs like this, but the moment I do this, I can't get one hug. And so what we do is, in this cancel culture, we cancel those who stands on a foundation that is firm. That's what's needed today, a foundation that's firm. As I exit the intro and go into the body, we talked about Matthew 10, 32 through 33. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men. You know what? Let's, let's go back. Let's take this old school. Malachi, put that scripture up. I want to go old school. 36, let's go old school, where we have to read together out of the, um, uh, what's that, the benevolent, we, not the benevolent, uh, the, no, 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 what's the thing, B print out? Responsive. Responsive reading, thank you, thank you. On the count of three, let's all read this together. One, two, three. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny my father, which is in heaven. Imagine being at the judgment seat. Ah, I, 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 God, I... I was serving you that whole time. I was representing, I was representing 
the whole time. I said that you was the one. The operative word in that is confess. He said, I said, I, 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 I did. I, I, I promise I did. I, when, when you, when you, went, when I, when I was, I was. No, 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 no. Father, I don't know him. Father, I don't know her. But you came to church every week. You came to the altar to leave something at the altar only to walk away and pick it right back up. I'm guilty of it. We're at the judgment seat and the last thing, see we're so quick to say, God, I can't wait to hear servant well done. But what's the opposite of that? I don't want to hear you don't know me. He's talking to those who believe, not the unbelief. That was a statement said to, 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 to pagans. That was a statement said to his, I mean, not to pagans. That was a statement said to his disciples. He's talking to us, those who say they believe. He's not talking to those who aren't Christians. Why is he talking to us? When he talks about denying and confession, he's talking about his so-called followers. Those who say they will keep his word. And Webster confess says admit or state the one that has committed a crime or is at fault in some way. Can I just ask you, are you at fault? How many of you are just at fault by a show of hands where I rep, I rep my God? I am at fault. I'm at fault for loving Christ. I'm at fault for walking around here looking insane because I didn't see him down the cross. I didn't see him raised with all power in his hands. But yet I believe whether I see it or not because I know the relationship I have with my Christ. Yeah. To confess means to publicly identify with. It is the verbal and visual identification of yourself to be in connection with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Malachi put 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Up. It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. I just told you, you're going to be talked about. Take up the afflictions because it's coming. If you say you believe them, he says, don't be ashamed of your claim. Believe it. We're in a period of time of, of, of dishonor. No shame, disesteem, no remorse. Literally, we just talked about, have you watched TV lately? I ain't never heard so many cussing words on radio in my life. When I was a kid, you had to have, you never heard anything. Unless you was rich and you had the satellite radios, you don't hear that. But they're so comfortable now. This is the day and age that we're in. When I was growing up, I thought you only had parades for your favorite team when they win the championship. And even on Thanksgiving. But now, Dave, it's a parade for every... I ain't gonna go there. Everybody else is proud except the church. We got parades to show every color there is in the coloring book. But yet in church, we don't want to represent just one color. And that's red because he died on the cross and shed for the blood and a sin he never committed. He didn't just do it for now, but he did it for later. What type of God do we serve that would do that for us? He said, I, I'm going to do it for now. But how cold I am, I'm going to do it for your future sins. Give the God we serve.
the culture don't have no remorse. The culture don't have no shame. So why is it that we show shame? If I offend you because I'm talking about Jesus Christ, so what? Baker, I love talking to you. You know what statement I hate that's in the, the grandma man Bible? So heavenly minded. I, the older I got, I used to say it because I used to hear people say it. I can't stand that statement no more because I'm so heavenly minded that I'm no earthly good is impossible. Think about it. I get it. You so saved and you just Bible, Bible, Bible that you're not relating. But if I don't relate to him, that means I don't relate to them. Stop saying the statement so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Because to say that and mean it means the Bible is a lie and who you serve is a lie. Because if you truly believe in what he's done for you, and if you truly believe in his word, then stop walking around here talking about you so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. I don't know about you, but that's what I want to be, heavenly minded. Maybe you're not heavenly minded enough. We just say stuff in church because it sounds good. It's time out. If you don't confess me, I will deny you because I have no obligation to a person that don't represent me. So when I get to the throne and when I get to the right hand of my father, I will deny you just like you did. Let the church yell out, confess. The culture is either going to say, you're going to join in or you're going to get left out. John 12, verses 42 through 43. We got to be careful of being like these people that's, that's in John 12. Verse 42 through 43. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers... Also, many believed in him. Many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. They believed, but they didn't publicly confess. Lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praises of God. They wanted to keep their approval they wanted to continue to be noticed. They wanted to remain in the spotlight. They wanted to remain compliant. Let me tell you, and I can guarantee you this, there will be some people, and I always heard my mom say this, and I used to be like, who she thinks she is? <laughs> but there will be some people that we think are going to heaven Y'all get it. They didn't confess, but they said they believe. Any married people, any people that's in relationship, if you got a job, I double dog dare you to say, promise, believe, and all of the stuff you do, and your actions don't follow it, watch how quick you be by yourself or unemployed. Think about I've been fired before. If you just be real for yourself, my old boss is back there. She almost fired me, but she loved me too much, and God was on my side, so she didn't. Karina, I love you. <laughs> but if you think about it, every time you was fired, if it wasn't like somebody being harsh or disliked you or something like that, it was because you didn't do something. There's, there, there's obligations that you must do on the job or you will be fired. I can say I love Tiffany day in and day out. And I'll be by myself if I don't show it via actions. And if I'm not by myself, then it's just a total unhappy marriage. They believed in him, but they didn't confess. They're on their way to heaven, but they didn't want to lose acceptance on earth. 
so you just pull them back. Could you imagine? That's why I think, and I, or should I say I know why God is God and man can't be. Because if y'all real with yourself, some people, we would have been like, X out, you are denied. <laughs> what did Trump used to say? You're fired. But they believed in him, but yet they didn't confess. It says they wouldn't, they, they, they were so proud to believe, but so cowardly to show it. We live in a world where political Christians who use politics and wrap their Christianity in just a flag and a flag alone, not the cross. We live in a day of covenant Christians who want to use God for their blessings, but only want to represent him in church. Jesus says, unless you confess me before men, he's talking about it publicly, through actions and words. Peep it. You must confess him and not just his father. Where I'm going with it. <laughs> Saying God won't cut it. Oh, I heard rapper so and so, RB so and so, movie star so and so. They rep God, they rep God, they rep God, 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 God. But how many of you hear them really, truly say Jesus and really go to elaborating on it? See, I'm cool with wearing the mask. I'm cool with the vaccine. I'm cool with all that. But if you're not walking around here saying that Jesus Christ is the only reason why you didn't die from COVID or haven't got COVID, then I got a problem with it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Listen, wear your mask. I'm not telling you not. Don't walk away out here talking about some man. Mr. Jackson said, don't. I'm not telling you not to get a vaccine. I'm not doing none of that. What I'm telling you is, number one, numero uno, should be God. I know I get on God's nerve because I thank him for everything. I be at the light and I see somebody flash by. I be like, woo, thank you, God. Because I thought about running that light. Let church say God, God. or should I say, one more time, let church say saying God, God. won't cut it. Because we have to understand that Jesus Christ has been assigned by the Trinity to represent the Godhead on earth, and we got to rep him at all times. You become a Christian by faith and faith alone and, and, and Christ alone, apart from the works. So you can give all your money. You can come to church and look cute. Y'all can wear them old hats and match your suit to, down to your shoes. All of that's good. But that ain't what's going to get you in heaven. But we have to understand, be, be, becoming a Christian is, as I said, the hardest thing. It's the coolest thing in the world. Because God says, I'm willing to give you chance after chance, forgive you 70 times 70. I don't, do anybody even know the number, the answer to that? Say that again, Pastor. 490? And guess what? 4,000. All of those numbers still don't equate to how many times he's willing to give you a chance. This is what baptism is. It's saying I'm willing to publicly be identified as a follower of Christ. That's why I don't believe in making your kids get baptized. If they don't understand it. Teach them. So when they get baptized, they understand why they were baptized. And they can say, I was baptized because I serve a God. I serve Jesus who died on the cross. And we go, they run down the hole. I used to be in school. Keish. Pastor Jackson's son. I used to be nervous to say my grace. I used to be like, 
Step into the and go to eat. Because I was ashamed. I didn't know it was a cool thing. Because I didn't understand. But the moment I became to understand, I realized that you know what? Y'all can laugh at me all, my, all I want, all y'all want. I'm 36, and guess what? They call me to always have a prayer about something big or small. It just happened the other day. A husband and wife was having a problem. They go to call and She go to call me talking about, I feel like I'm about to do something stupid. Can you just say a prayer for me? Everybody thought it was cool and funny before. But now you need prayer. What type of Christian are you? You got to get it. I only got 15 minutes left. Matthew 10, 24 and 25. The disciples is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? He says the whole idea of following Christ is to be like him. In the same way, he reflected the standard of his father. We are to reflect the standard of our Savior. So that's why I say you are the only Bible that someone will see. They won't know Jesus Christ unless they're looking at you. So back to my question again. What type of Christian are you, public or private? What's the issue here of confession? He has spoken about that um, like multiple times. Matthew 10, 38. Look at what he says. After your confession, right? And you rep me, you rep me so much, he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. You got to take up the cross as heavy as it is, as on a daily basis, as much as it hurt, as much as it seemed embarrassing, you got to take up the cross all the way to the finish line. Yeah. Because I promise you, and I'm going to tell you later into the sermon, it is you're going to get something at the end that is so rewarding. This is an unsettled issue by many Christians. It has not been settled at all, and it affects the issue of confession. Look at this. Romans 10, 9 through 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart of man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession, confession is made unto salvation. When you believe you are made righteous, that's when you get saved. But he says, out of your mouth, that is a public identification. That is publicly recognizing him. Is where you will get your deliverance. God through Christ will only join you in history if you're not ashamed of him. We hide behind the word God so many different times. And so we have to deal with the... Uh, the nuances of, of Jesus Christ. And so we'd be like, no, nah, I'm going to just keep it simple. There could be no divine reset without recognizing the, the law of the kingdom. Thank you, T.D. Jakes. I got that from him. I want to give everyone all credit. The law of the kingdom is here. But how can we have that divine reset without the church being in order? There would be no eternal life if he hadn't paid the price. There go Malachi. Everybody got their kids around. How many of you are willing to give your kids up? Not just to die. But to give your kid up for someone else. He paid a price. And you got the nerve to walk around here, say you believe, and not publicly confess? 
in the midst of chaos, in the midst of tragedy, in the midst of ugliness, I'm willing to, in the midst of embarrassment, I'm willing to say, I'm never going to deny him. Take my life, take my money, take my family, take my church, take my leg, and everything else. I'm going to be one hobbly person saying, I believe that he died on the cross and that he raised up with all power in his hands for me. So when you think about eternal life, I want you to think about the price. That was paid for that. There shouldn't be uncertain sounds when it comes to Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1, 22 and 23. And he hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body. The fullness of him that filleth all in all. Romans 14, 8 uh, through 10. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this ends Christ both dead, both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why does thy judge, thy brother, thy, thy brother, or why does thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So you can point your finger at this person going to church and now I look at them, ha, ha, ha. And the church people can point their finger and say, oh, I want the riches. Oh, I want this. All will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And you will either get access granted or access denied. Philippians 2, verses 10 through and 11. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That's how cold he is. He says, in the earth and under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yes, to the glory of God the Father. Yes, if you don't confess, if you ain't got the gist of this sermon by now, <laughs> you ain't going to get it. Let's church yell out again, confess. We must acknowledge that Jesus is not just some celebrated human figure that comes with respect only. He is the son of the living God who we shall worship at all times. Not just praise, not just come when we want something, but we should worship him. When you worship someone, you bow to their feet. When you worship someone, you serve them without a complaint. Anybody can just say, oh, Jesus is the Lord of my life and the light of my salvation and run it all down and sound cute. But I need the people that's willing to be ugly. I need the people that's willing to sacrifice their good clothes. I need the people that's not trying to be so cute. I need the people that say no matter what, ripped clothes or not, food on the table or not, money in my pocket or not, Help at an all-time high or low. I'm willing to serve you, God, no matter what stands in front of me. Seven minutes, y'all got to get it. Let church say seven minutes. Luke 6, 46. Luke 6, 46 says, And why call ye me? Lord, Lord. And do not do the things which I say. He says, how this do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? You call me Lord, and then you're telling me you're going to do something opposite. How you call me Lord, Lord? I tell you to move, you stay. I tell you he or she is the one, you tell me why they're not. 
I say this about marriage, you say something else. I said I created Adam and Eve. I don't know Steve, Steve, Amber and Amber. I say I give unto me, you tell me you don't got it. If I said give it, give it. Because watch how I turn it over 30, 60, 100. I want my cup to overflow. I want my cup to be so heavy that I got to stand like this just so it don't spill. I got a top on it now, but I don't want my, I want my cup to overflow. It's overflow. God, why you keep letting it rain? God, every blessing you just got coming, I don't have enough room to receive all of the God. I just keep getting blessings after blessings. God, I, I don't need any more. I, I want to give you some more out of your obedience. Kenny, don't kill me. I'm just, it's just water. <laughs> I keep saying do all of these things and you keep doing what you want. And you got the nerve to say I'm Lord. If the Lord was, was like us, he just would have simply said, get off my phone. The artists say, stay there. The artists say, these chicks ain't loyal. But God says, the church ain't loyal. You so loyal when you thought I wasn't watching. You crept into the hotel. When you thought I wasn't watching, I recognized it all. We live in a world we're having 40,000 different baby mamas is the thing. I'm not making this up. These rappers, artists, and movie stars be like, yeah, I mean, they really make agreements like, I just want babies because she was cute. Women trying to trap men to get the baby. We so focused on all of these worldly things that we lose what we're supposed to be getting. I'm gonna just leave you with this scripture and I'm gone. Three minutes. Matthews 10, 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake, for my sake, shall find it. Luke 14, 34 and 35, and I'm gone. I know I said after 39. Salt is good. But if the salt has lost its savior, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dug hill. But men cast out. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. You can't do anything with it. You can't taste it. It lost its seasonal power. In other words, it's too many useless Christians. So as you took the drive with me through my intro, rolled on a passenger seat with my body, I need you to get out the car with me on my conclusion as I ask the question, what type of Christian are you? Whether public or private, the doors of the church are open.
as the doors of the church are opening. I need you to understand, Dave, if you can uh, get this stuff, appreciate you. But this, you gotta grab it from the bottom, please, not that silver part. As the doors of the church are open, I have fun ministering to you. Malachi, you can keep it down. They're they going to step forward. But I need you to understand, seriously, wholeheartedly, come forward, y'all. I'm not about to talk all day. I'm preaching long enough. If it's not for you, then maybe it's for, for a loved one. If you know that you confess him publicly, we all know some people who confess him privately. I want to be able to see us all on the other side. I don't have no favorites, but I want to see us all. So when I ask you what type of Christian are you, whether public or private, I want the answer to not spew out of your mouth, but I want it to spew out of your action. That I am a public Christian, I am a public believer, that I won't deny him. And I didn't even get into the scripture where it talks about in 38, 37, 38, where it talks about the family, whether your family, your mother, your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law, your daughter, your kids, everybody, you should love me more than them. So as the doors of the church are open and the praise team is coming, will you confess publicly? Let your glory fill this house. Let your glory fill this house. Let the essence of a sweet smelling savor. Simple. Remove all fear and doubt so your glory can fill this house. Let your presence fill this house. Let your Yeah. 
shall glory fill the house. Glory fill the house. welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Let your glory fill the house. Let your presence. Let your presence fill the house. something you're gonna need him you're gonna need to call on the name of Jesus wherever you are don't never think that you can't call him but one thing you need to do is say Jesus 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 you are welcome Jesus you are welcome Jesus you are Okay, we are going to have an offering real quick. Um, if I, I used to be hesitant. Um, and when pastor would say, man, just do the offering. Boy, it ain't that serious. Listen, give what you want to give. It's an offering. We, we, we don't have to stand. We have our ushers coming. If the ushers can move quick, real quick, real quick. Test, 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 test. Thank you very much, David. Test. Malachi, you can uh, put the cash app on the screen. Listen, y'all, th this uh, running the, the other one, boy. This um, technology thing, we are getting it together. Understand, can y'all hear me? Okay. Um, this technology thing, it is um, easier for me and Fingers and Kenny, but we do run into some issues and we always, we have a good time. We say sound, man, we all have a good time. And it is funny sometimes. But overall, seriously, uh, we are working on it to bring you all the best of the best. And we will get it together. There will be a time, or a matter of fact, there was a time where we didn't have this. And then there will be a time where we will laugh at days like this because the technology will be bigger, better, and brighter. So please, please, through your active obedience of giving and continuing to pray, for the church and work and work and work, we will have that day come. I pray, it is my prayer, as I well as I hope the church's prayer, that that day come, and he jokes and talk. well, he's serious, but he talks about leaving the church to me and these things, and that's all cool, fine and dandy, but I pray to God, Baker, that that happens when Pastor Jackson is still our pastor. So again, Pastor, I appreciate your humility. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor. Hallelujah. I appreciate that, his humility, but I ain't ready for none of that. So, God, you keep him here. I ain't one of them kids, okay? That's like, no, hurry up and die and get out the church and all of these fights and all of y'all know that happened. That ain't me. Okay, so 
I'm good with being tech man, preach every now and then, and be up under that man. I am fine with that. I, I rep my father and my father. Okay, so as they're praying, those who know me real quick, if you can bring it down one time, bring it down, we'll take the cash app off Malachi real quick, and I'm going to, uh, we're going to depart real quick. Praise team, let's sing us out. Matter of fact, before I even do this, matter of fact, Malachi, put that, um, uh, the, the, about the, the turkey on there, on the screen. First lady wanted me to announce this about the turkey giveaway. Um, those of you who need a turkey or know someone who need a turkey, two di I know it looked like the same flyer, but I got the arrows here. It's two different locations. Um, Joy Road, I believe that's West. Connor, I believe that that's East. So they are servicing both sides, East and West side, if you know someone who need a turkey or if you are in need of a turkey. Come on, can we just lose a praise in this place? Come on, come on. Come on, let's put that in the atmosphere. Come on, somebody shout, Lord, do it right now. Come on, come on. We on our way home. Somebody shout, Lord, do it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it, do it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just raise that praise. Lord, do it. Lord, do it. We on our way home. Just take that home with you. Lord, do it for me. Lord, do it for me. Come on, shout it. Lord, do it. As you walk on out the door, just tell them, Lord, do it for me. Do it for me. Right now. God bless you. See you next week. Lord, do it for me. Do it for me. Right now. Oh, Lord, do it for me. Do it for me, right?